Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about all the information that's been coming out uh, this week of Monster Hunter. There has been a convention called Gamescon in Germany, and a lot of people have been recording uh, Monster Hunter gameplay. There's been a lot of uh, videos coming out, and I wanted to kind of round up all the information that I found really interesting that I saw that I was like, holy shit, this is fucking awesome, and my god, my glasses got a lot of tint on. I'm going to take those off real quick. Um, there's been just a lot of information that's been coming out. And I couldn't keep up with it all of it. I mean, I could, but it'd be like a video a day of just monster information. And I didn't want to oversaturate our channel. So I've just been doing monster live streams instead of, uh, you know, just videos for a little bit. But I thought, fuck it. I'm just going to get all the videos, all, all the content that I found that interests me that I thought I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, and just put it in one video. Just all the stuff that interests me personally from the stuff that's been coming out. Uh... I just also want to point out that a lot of people have been a little confused over something that I found kind of funny. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that the new Monster Hunter uh, is much easier than the previous ones. It's I don't know if I don't again I've never I haven't played the game yet so I don't know. But there has been information coming out that the developer straight up said that the demo that have been it's being played in Gamescom is set on easy. And the timer has been reduced from an hour to half an hour because there's so many people wanting to play the game that they wanted it to make it f go faster, have everything go, f uh, you know, smoother. So it was set on easy, so Monsters HP is lower. That's why they're flinching so much. And a lot of YouTubers have been talking about this, and a lot of YouTubers have been saying that it looks way too easy, or other people have been just, who actually played the game have said that it was set on easy, and the developers just told them straight up that it's going to be a little hard in this when the actual game comes out. So, don't worry for all of you that wants the game to be hard. I personally want the game to be harder, too. Um, the actual game is supposedly going to be harder than the demo that they've been playing at Gamescom. Uh, before I even get started on that, just real quick. Thank you to Jay for actually drawing this new avatar for me for uh, Monster Hunter. I love it. It's my favorite new drawing of hers that she's made for us. And I'm going to be using that in all the videos from now on. But anyway, let's get going. First thing I want to talk to you guys about was the gl new glide mantle. So right now the total number of mantles that are out there that we know of is four. But the glide mantle is, well, pretty self-explanatory. It glides. Uh, if you jump somewhere high, you slowly glide down to wherever you want to go. It also makes it a little easier for you to mount monsters. Judging by the look of the mantle, I kind of like it. It's blue, it looks nice, and when you jump off of stuff, it's just like, wee, a little glide there. Um, for those, for those of you that don't know, the four mantles are, again, Glide Mantle, then the first original one that they show, ever showed off was the Gilly Mantle, which makes it so monsters cannot target you, they just don't see you, I think, this is not confirmed as far as I can tell, um, the Gilly Mantle does not work if the monster is enraged, so if you put the Gilly Mantle on, he's enraged, it might still hit you. Uh, the next one is the challenge mantle, which is the exact opposite of the ghillie mantle. When you put this on, the monster attacks you aggressively and will follow you, which, which is an easy way to get them into traps. The next one is my personal favorite, the rock steady mantle. You get a resistance to damage and you don't flinch. Uh, I kind of really like this one for obvious, because, you know, I like the gun lance. Um... And it's one of those things that I'm really excited for just because I want to use it. Uh, uh, so right now, so far, we don't know if you earn this from quests or if you craft these mantles. We have no idea because we haven't brought any information out on them other than that. Uh, right now, the only thing we know about them is they are an item that could be that has a cooldown and that there are four of them. They are all pretty different in looks, for the most part, you know, one's different colored, one's blue, one's green, one's kind of like a sparkly thing to get the monster's attention, and the other one looks like you're wearing straight up armor over your current armor. Yeah, that's basically it, other than the fact that I hope there's more. Uh, I I predict that there probably is going to be more. I'm pretty sure they're going to bring out mantles that are resistant to, say, elemental attacks or something like that, and, uh, you know, other stuff that is makes you run faster stuff like that oh also before i actually forgot to mention this uh you can actually change your mantles uh just like your other equipment in your tent just throwing that out there if you guys wanted to know about that it's one of the things you can switch out in your inventory 
Next thing is the weapons. The weapon animations for this Monster Hunter is just looks fucking awesome. I mean, we've talked about this before, but the weapons, quite honestly, look fucking ridiculously good. Um, the charge blade in particular is one of the things that I'm really excited for. I actually might be switching my main from a gun lance to a charge blade just because of all the amazing things to it. Uh, though, I didn't get a chance to look at all the weapons, uh, combos because, uh, again, I'm waiting for other YouTubers to get their, their, uh, videos out so I can actually watch them and see because I have not been invited to this game's con because obviously I'm small fish on YouTube. <laughs> Um, and I will eventually be making tutorials for probably all the weapons. I'm going to try to get all the weapons out and give you guys an idea of how to use them uh, when the full game comes out. Or if an open demo comes out to PS4, Xbox, or PC, I will try my best to get those videos out there for you guys too. But all the animations, all the uh, technical stuff behind the weapons have been upgraded to an awesome degree. All the weapons that uh, have been in the games before are now much prettier, much more flashy, especially, again, again, especially the charge blade. It's got some crazy new animations. The gun lance in particular also has a few new things. They're small, but they're really cool. Um, I also really like the changes they made to the long blade, or long sword, the katana, basically. Uh, it's got a really cool new counter move that I don't know if a lot of people have actually realized. It's kind of a... Uh, jump back and if the monster hits you you go into this really cool whoosh attack that you don't take any damage essentially you deal back the damage um again this has not been confirmed that you deal back damage it just kind of looks that way um and i've seen it in other youtubers videos but all the animations look very clean very crisp but very fluid it doesn't look like you're cutting out frames or anything like that and i'm really excited for the rest of the weapon that for me to get my hands on the weapons and kind of feel how it all is because I'm going to try pretty much every single one of them, including the hunting horn, which is more in favor. I still haven't seen any footage of the hunting horn other than uh, one YouTuber who was playing around with it, uh, just for the sake of playing around with it. Uh, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is, holy shit, the palicos, or the kitties. Oh my god, they have gotten some serious new stuff that I kind of found really interesting. One, there's a cat riding a raptor, or the... Jagras, I believe you can call this model Jagras. Um, he's, he's just riding it, and I don't know what they did to the Jagras to make it want to help you, but it's kind of like a brain. I don't know. It looks like a brainwash. I it just out of nowhere, one of the uh, videos on IGN, you just kind of see this Palico riding the Jagras, and it was so adorable. Um, even after the uh, Palico gets knocked off the Jagras, you still see the Jagras is on your side. Um, I think you, you kind of lose the Jagras though because I don't know how long the Jagras stays on your side, but you kind of stop seeing it in the video. After a while, the cat still follows you, but the Jagras is kind of gone. I'm going to fuck around with this and try to see how long it lasts when I start playing the game. But yeah, it's just the Jagras gets controlled by the kitty, and I found that adorable. Also, later on, you have to see the kitty also... Like, I don't know if it's a cat ability or skill you can give your cat, but you see it getting a bunch of other cats and pinning down the bear off. And it looks hilarious when you saw these little kitties holding down a giant monster and they're not getting flaked off like it's nothing because I, I don't know. It's just one of the things I found hilarious and completely adorable. I love I love the cats and or palicos in Monster Hunter just because they're my, one of my favorite things. Last thoughts though, uh, you're, you now have a kitchen outside of your tent where your handler can actually cook food for you and give you and your team buffs. Uh, the food, I'm just gonna throw it out there, the food looks fucking amazing, it looks like Final Fantasy food, like, it looks yummy as fuck. And, I'm happy about this because that means you can actually just get a buff while you're out and about instead of going back to town. I don't know if they'll change this when the full game releases, but it does look pretty damn good. Also, uh, they confirmed that you can actually get multiple, uh, not multiple quests, but it, it's confirmed that you can get, uh, different quests while you're out on the mission. I don't know if this will change again if you are out, uh, and then, uh, when the game fully releases, I don't know if this will change. I don't know if they'll just keep the quest giver being able to be out there with you. I don't know, but I like the fact that you can just beat a mission and hopefully go back to the tent and get another mission. Just go back out there with your friends instead of going back to town and redoing the whole ch selecting quest thing. 
if I found if I didn't report on anything that you guys found interesting, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to talk about it later on, and I'll also give you guys a shout out for you know, kind of just helping me out. I'll let you know in the con I'll let them know in the video. <laughs> but anyway, that's all the stuff I found interesting this week. If you guys want to see more, subscribe to our channel for more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give a thumbs down. It always helps me out to know what your opinion is on my videos. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.